Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 24th, 2024. Some good news coming out of Rock Valley in Sioux County, Iowa over the weekend was that 1,500 residents got an unexpected helicopter ride. The bad news? Everything else. Iowa is flooding and flooding bad. Sioux Falls hit particularly hard, but not quite as hard as Rock Valley, according to Des Moines Register. Since 1969, at least, this has been a recurring theme in the area where there are terrible floods happening every few years. This will definitely take time to clean up as they have to pump out water from the sewer system, and in the meantime, residents are recommended to conserve water use. And if you've experienced a sewage, sewage backup, to call their helpline center at 211. Additional resources on their page linked in the description. In Tel Aviv, thousands of protesters have taken to the street to protest the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas. That is, having a devastating effect on the people of Gaza. According to a Pew Research poll that follows the same methodology as Goldilocks's porridge polling, about 34% of Israelis think the war hasn't gone far enough as a response to Hamas, 39% claim it's about right, and 19% say the government has gone too far. Here in the United States, however far away from any of the terrorist attacks, bombs, lack of water or power, and widespread violence, Israel's ongoing attacks are serious enough that it is splitting the Democratic Party in what looks to be equivalent to when the Republicans attempt to elect a Speaker of the House. Now that's serious. Talking about serious, Boeing, in an attempt to prove it can make something fly through the air, shot something into the vacuum of space, and still failed. Boeing just can't seem to make anything that flies anymore. The Boeing Starliner is currently docked at the International Space Station like a squatter you just can't get rid of. There's issues, and they are attempting to repair the Starliner so that it can come back to Earth. At this point, Boeing has said to the Starliner's astronauts that the return will be postponed indefinitely. Those two astronauts are trying to fix Boeing's mistake. And hey, that's at least better than Boeing calling them up and starting the conversation with, yeah, so you remember Laika? And on to something a little less dark. What mass shootings happened yesterday? Let's start with Saturday the 22nd, since I don't record on Sundays. In Louisville, Kentucky, at 2523 West Broadway, one person killed seven injured at a neighborhood club. There was no indication yet as to why this incident occurred. In Glen Avenue, Virginia, at 1169D Old Washington Highway, six people were injured when suspects opened fire. Two persons of interest were detained after the police arrived on the scene. In Canton, Mississippi, in Canton, Mississippi, on Hickory Street, one person killed, five injured. Two of those injured were teenagers. The victims were at a local hangout spot, and the 19-year-old suspect showed up and opened fire. Moving on to Sunday. That was just Saturday. Uh, yesterday, June 23rd, 2024. In Columbus, Ohio, 10 people were injured on the 1100 block of North High Street. Two of the victims were teenagers. As reported, an individual wearing all black came up to the group and opened fire. To later get into a white Honda and got away. The driver was caught after a chase and the shooter later turned himself in. In Trenton, New Jersey, at 101 Walnut Avenue, four people were injured. injured. Not a lot of info on this one. In Rochester, New York, at 353 Court Street, six were injured, one of which was a teenager, when during a jazz fest, a shooter opened fire into a crowd. In Tampa, Florida, at 3751 East Fowler Avenue, one person was killed, three injured. The shooting took place in the parking lot of a Holiday Inn, and the person killed is thought to be local rapper Julio Fulio. In St. Louis, Missouri, at the corner of North 11th Street and Market Street, one person killed, five injured, when a fight that had broken out escalated. In Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at 2915 Starlight Drive, one person killed, three injured at a local bar. In Montgomery, Alabama, at the corner of North Pass Road and Coliseum Boulevard, nine people were injured, four of, whom, four of whom were teenagers, when more than 300 rounds were fired into a party gathering. In Vallejo, California, at the corner of Spring Road and Monterey Street, four victims were injured during a shooting. More information is still pending. And let's end on a controversial topic. The only proper way of choosing your second favorite color is by identifying the color you think works best with your favorite color. My favorite color, as an example, is yellow. The color that works best with that color is black. Thus, black is my second favorite color, leading to some of my statements like, red would be my favorite color if yellow wasn't, but red isn't my second favorite color. If you're doing it any other way, you're doing it wrong.
This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.